Okay, Salawam, Salawam, Kwame Sala. Kohu Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Hachadash. The honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth and just want to say the water toward the Akim and Akwaf. That's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. Jachana and Nawaf. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. Um, yeah, we touching on these wars and rumors of wars, man. We got to, you know, continue on warning the flock, warning our people of the things that are to come to pass, man. <laughs> and it's coming to pass. The prophecies, hey, the Lord's word will not return to him void. It's going to do what he sent it forth to do, man. You can't stop it. It's going to go forth. And, and we're getting very, very close to the end. And we do these lessons, you know, so that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will get warning, man, that you are the children of Israel, first off, and that you, you have to repent. If you don't repent, you're going to be destroyed in the second death, and it's not going to be pretty. Okay, so this says Russia threatens to strike the West. Horsemen of the apocalypse are coming. <laughs> hey, these guys are talking big stuff, man. And matter of fact, you know what? Let me grab something real quick. Just to just show that this is um, all the plan of Yahweh, which the world ignorantly calls God, Allah, and all these different names. The Lord's name is Yahweh, which means that he exists where he is to be in the true name of his son. Is Yahweh Shai, which means that he's the Savior, or deliverer in Paleo Hebrew. There's no letter J in Hebrew, so the Father's name is not Jehovah, and the Son's name is not Jesus. The letter J was invented in 1524, um, about 500 years ago. So if he walked the earth 2,000 years ago, of course he can't be called. You know, his name can't be Jesus, man. And he's not a white guy. That's that's something that the so-called white man them flipped for centuries, man. But now it's coming to pass. You know, in these last days. The true doctrine will be coming out and it's coming out amongst the, the apostles, you know, from the apostles um, up and down, you know, the, the elders, the bishops, you know, even just, you know, brothers that's just coming into this truth, you know, within a year, six months, you know, are, are teaching the correct gospel and, and showing the world, you know, what the correct doctrine is, man, that you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans are the real, true Hebrew Israelites. And this is your culture right here. See, the so-called white man, the elite of them, they know who you are. But our people are calling ourselves by words and all these different names, you know what I'm saying, that are not, you know, we're calling us, we're calling ourselves basically what our enemies gave us when they, you know, captured us and put us in slavery, so to speak. We wasn't being called African Americans and damn blacks and spicks and <laughs> Hispanics and Haitians and Jamaicans, all these are weird ass by words, but that's a uh, curse that's in Deuteronomy chapter 28. But let's get, um, I don't want to go too far off the subject. Let's just go and prove that you know what she how about Shimia was shy that's in control of these kings, these men that are talking all this stuff. Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of, of Yahweh. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So if you've ever seen water flowing on a creek, you see how it just flows and splash. Every single one of those movements of that water is all designed by our power, by our power, man, Yahweh. You know, when you really think about that, every twist and turn, every little splash of bubble come up. That's all you have about Shimei Shai was orchestrated and, and written <laughs> from the beginning of time, man. The Lord is cold and, 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 and he's turning the minds of these kings right now. And see, all this stuff that's being said, all these nuclear weapons being tested, those things are all designed by Yahweh about Shimei Shai, man. We are there. We're, we're pretty much at the end. Now, I was riding yesterday and I was, you know, I haven't been anywhere today. I normally don't really go nowhere on the weekend except the camp. But, man, these damn gas prices is crazy. These gas, man, regular gas is well over $5 now. This shit is moving up like a quarter a day. So just think within a month that this continued the way it is continued. People are going to be going damn nuts out here, man. Okay? Now this says one Russian president, one of Russian President Vladimir Putin's top advisors warned that the Kremlin will target Western decision-making centers. <laughs> you see that they about to target some of this American shit. It says if Ukraine uses U.S. supplied rockets to strike Russia, adding a chilling warning that the horsemen of the apocalypse are already on their way. If, if God forbid these weapons are used against the Russian territory, then our armed forces will have no other choice but to strike decision making centers. Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chairman of Russia's National Security Council, told Al Jareza, Al, Al Reported by the Metro, okay? 
Let's get a little more here. It says, of course, it needs to be understood that the final decision making centers in this case, unfortunately, are not located on the territory of Kaid. So what are they saying? <laughs> It says um, he also issued a grim warning that the conflict is pushing the world towards nuclear Armageddon. That's what I wanted to touch on. See, these are the things that Yahweh was telling the disciples that will be happening in the last days. They asked him, Lord, what will be happening? What will be going on? We're going to get that. Matter of fact, let's get it right now. Let's just go on into it right now. Matthew 24. Start from verse three. And this is the disciples asking him. It says, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Yahweh answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Mashiach, and shall deceive many. You got that going on. There's a whole bunch of uh, uh, clowns out here that's running in behind some so-called white guy calling himself Jesus or the Holy Ghost and you know, they got a cult following of 30, 40,000 people that's just out here, just weirdos. That's going on. And this is the point right here, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. See, we're not to be troubled. This is just warning to us. We understand. See, the rest of the people, they're going to be troubled. They're going to be troubled. When, when shit hit the fans, the Lord said he's going to take care of his saints, man. They're, they're, he said, my servant shall eat. My servant shall drink, my joy, my servant shall have joy, you know. But he says that, hey, if you're not a servant of his, you're going to be hungry, you're going to be thirsty, you're going to be ashamed, and it's not going to be a good look, man. You want to be under the protection of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because even for us that believe on the Lord, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be rough on all of us. But the ones that actually don't even call on him and don't even know, excuse me, Salakia, it's going to be terrible. Verse 7, it says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines. That's about to happen, man. The food is already getting expensive as hell. If the gas continue going, going up, what do you think is going to happen to the food? Those truckers that have to import that stuff, man. What do you think is going to happen? See, it, it's okay. It, 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 you, you can see it's, it's rising, man. It, it hasn't gone into full hyperinflation yet, but it's getting there. It, it has no choice if the gas prices keep moving at the rate that they're moving in, man. That's why, you know, the, the brother's been telling, you know, the, you know, warning the flock, hey, look, go out and get you a couple of extra things, you know? Go get you a couple of extra things and stock your, your cabinets, you know? Put you a couple of extra things in the freezer if you can. You know, it, it's nothing wrong with that. Now, are we saved by that? Do we put our dependence upon that? No, we don't. We trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, but he did give you wisdom. Don't just be sitting around and just wait till everything hit the fans and, and you have nothing, you know, go ahead and stock on up. And you should be doing that anyway, because you want to make as less trips as possible just on the gas, on the tip of, you know, just trying to save on gas. Consolidate your trips. Make a move, you know, instead of all that bouncing around, make that one move, man, one time. Go ahead and get what you need and come on home, you know. Shit, if you live in an area where you can jump on a bike, man, if you live in an area where you can just get out and go take a nice walk, man, and go do a little shopping. And come on back, you know, everything I had to be jumping into the damn car. But anyway, that's another lesson. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All this has been going on. This mad earthquakes going on right now, man. I'm on a day to day basis, man. Verse eight, it says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. And I'm going to get verse 12, too. It says, and, and, um. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That's important to know, too, because it's going to be it's a lot of cold blood. It's going to be a lot of cold bloodedness. It's going to be cold bloodedness amongst family, man. So just, you can just think if you're a stranger, motherfucker don't know you. They don't give us. They trying to get what they trying to get. When these people get hungry because because America is a fat, a, a chubby ass nation, man. This is one of the the. The fattest nations on the planet, man. I, I was I, I was doing a video the other day, man, walking through Walmart, man. All you see is 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 especially the women. I, I hate to say, it, but man, three, four hundred, damn near five hundred pound women, man, uh, uh, rolling through the you know the Walmart on those carts, man. They taking the carts from the elderly. The elderly can't even come in and get a cart, you know, the little scooter carts, cause some big ass women are on them, man. I mean, hey, it's about to get retarded out here. You see. And I'm going to come back to that because it's a, I was just watching a video on um, YouTube that's talking about this famine that's going on over there in Yemen. 
And, and famines are going on all over the all over the earth. They're going on all over the earth. But see, the America, they want to try and make it seem like oh, we must go stop Russia from invading Ukraine. This is so inhumane. Motherfucker, you've been invading people since you've been a country. So you have to look in the backdrop, man. All this shit is just smoke and mirrors. It's all a complete damn lie. The so-called white man, man, it's not going to give you no truth, man. The scripture says never trust thine enemy. These people are not going to tell you the full truth as to why they're over there. It says um, the horsemen of the apocalypse are already on their way. And all hope now is with Lord God, the almighty, he said. Yeah, you're right. You don't know who they calling on, but you best believe Yahweh is in control of everybody that's about to catch a missile to the face. It says President Joe Biden announced Tuesday that his administration will send more advanced rocket systems and munitions to Ukraine as the nation's war with Russia rages on. So see, America, we're not boots on the ground. We're not invading Russia, but you supplying a whole nother nation with weapons on the taxpayers dying. You, you, your shit here is terrible in the, in the U.S., but you got all this money to send to a whole other country. That, that just that this is what's going to make people go fucking nuts, man. These so-called white people see they're ready to go already. Because because you still got half the country still believe that Trump, the president, they're ready to go. And if shit get any worse, you just check it out over this next month, man. It's about to, these white folk about to go fucking nuts, man. And Jake about to go nuts. But these these so-called white people that's really feeling like they're losing their footing, they're losing their country. They about to go ham, man. And on you Negroes, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans, they about to get busy on you, too. The Lord is about to rile their spirit up. He saw Edom's spirit up to get busy on you, Jake, man. That's why it's so important to repent. OK, it says um, as president, President Vladimir Zelensky of Ukraine has said, ultimately, this war will only definitely end through di diplomacy. Every negotiation reflects the facts on the ground. We have moved quickly to send Ukraine a significant amount of weaponry and ammunition so it can fight on the battlefield and to be the strongest possible be in the strongest possible position at the negotiating table. Biden wrote, nah, this dude, man. That's why I've decided that we will provide the Ukrainians with more advanced rocket systems and munitions that would enable them to more precisely strike key targets on the battlefield in Ukraine. Despite this warning, Medvedev insisted that there is still a peaceful path forward for Russia and the West. But see, he's, they basically telling you, hey, look, we're not, we're not about to be um, bowed down to you, man. We're going to get what we want out of this shit, you know? And that's the way that the Russians is talking, man. They, 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 but they know what's up. See, Russia, man, America, man, they've they been doing, they've been just doing a bunch of bullshit for centuries and centuries that every, all these other countries know their game plan. They already know. You give them any type of footing, you give them an inch, they're going to take a goddamn mile. And they know that. Let me see. Um, because there's something else that I wanted to, yeah, this point right here. It says, earlier this week, Russian parliament member Alexei Zorilev threatened that Russia could destroy the entire east coast of the United States with just two missiles if Russian Vladimir Putin ordered the such strike. See that? Two missiles, man. This bitch out of here. Two missiles. That's your east coast. They have two missiles. <laughs> so they can send four, six missiles, eight missiles, ten missiles top, and this continent is done. You see? And why in America, yeah, they've been, they've been, see, Russia, is, they're, they're dealing with Russia. It, they're not dealing with a third world country like they had ran into all these other countries, man. They know not to run over there with that bullshit. But still, you're stroking the fire, man, by, um, you know, supplying their enemies with weapons. You, you are part of the war. You know, they're trying to act as if they're not a part of the war, but they're actually a part of the war. They want to try and get um, um, these uh, uh, NATO nations. They want to try and pull in Finland and Poland and all these surrounding borders that's on you um, on Russia's borders so they can set up their missiles, man, everywhere. If they join NATO and see this guy, he's telling them like, hey, y'all join NATO and see how that turn out for you. Got something for you, too. It's not going to be pretty, man. So. Just wanted to just touch on this for a second, man. Hey, we're getting very, very close, man. When you're hearing about nuclear talks, man, <laughs> you're hearing about these famines, because like I said, again, I was just watching this video, too. It may. It's still kind of on the queue. Let me let me get a little bit of it. This right here. Try to back it up just a tad. 
led coalition by an additional two months, the warring parties first agreed to a truce during the holy month of Ramadan in April. This week, 48 U.S. Congress members introduced a war powers resolution calling on the Biden administration to end U.S. military support and arms sales to the Saudi-led coalition attacking Yemen. In a statement, Congressional Progressive Caucus Chair Pramila Jayapal said, there are more than 16 million Yemenis living on the brink of starvation and more than 2 million children suffering from acute malnutrition. And the American people's tax dollars are helping finance that suffering. Congress member Jayapal. See that? It says America's taxpayers' money is helping to finance the suffering of children. But don't they love everybody? And they've been doing that for a long time. See, the people, they just not realizing it, man. The average motherfucker in America, man, they, 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 these people are so damn stupid. They are here acting as if they care for the world, but your taxpayers' dollars is going towards starving children, man. These people are fucking demons, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. But this is a part of the famines. And it's not just in Yemen. This shit is all over the world, man. And it's about to start happening here, too. Real strong. It's already poverty in America, man, is, is through the roof. People don't know how what the fuck to do, man. Homelessness is through the roof. This place is trash. But they go throughout the world and send your money to other places, all in the sake of humanity. We're fighting for the world's humanity. You know, Russia, Russia, Russia. Why They're so inhumane of them. Motherfucker, you've been invading countries for hundreds of years, and all of a sudden, you, you come on, man. <laughs> we see what it is, man. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Matter of fact, let me, I'll end out with that. We're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. This damn guy is a damn, is the, is the devil that the Bible speaks of. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, let Satan should get an advantage of us, but we are not ignorant of his devices. We're not ignorant of the fact that your ass is, you, you're only here to kill, steal, and destroy. All in the, you know, but they put on this, this smoke and mirror, but see, people starting to see through that shit now. They're starting to see, nope, you're the problem. It's you. Now we see. But I just wanted to just touch on this, man. This is just, you know, another warning to warn the flock, man. You had to keep your eyes on us, you know, the Lord said to watch and pray. So um, with that, for me, I'm